Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're here for the first time, then welcome. In today's video, we'll be checking out the new NVIDIA driver, which is version 496.13. We'll be discussing the latest performance I'm getting in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 using VR. I've decided to record the native view through the headset with the FPS counter on, so you can get a sense of what I'm seeing without it being enlarged to full screen. The intention of this video is to give you an update on how the latest software is performing, so you can choose to go ahead with the update on your own system. I do appreciate these drivers are updated quite regularly, and you may not want to bother applying every update. However, I always recommend installing the latest drivers, especially if you're using your PC for other applications and video editing. You can see here as I fly over Mexico City, the performance I'm getting is very smooth. There's also enough clarity to make it really enjoyable. I'm getting around 40 to 45 FPS, there's absolutely no stuttering, and everything inside the aircraft is clear. Check out the video above for all my latest settings, including the OpenXR and in-game settings for my Revo G2. And please do remember to subscribe to the channel for the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 VR tutorials, demos, discussions and more. And smash that like button if you enjoy the content, as it really helps boost the channel to help reach other simmers. Here you can see I've got the latest driver installed on my system, driver 496.13. To download the driver, you can either go to the NVIDIA website or you can do it through the GeForce experience. If you just click on check for updates under drivers, it'll download it for you there. According to the release notes, this game ready driver provides support for Back for Blood, which utilizes NVIDIA DLSS to boost performance by up to 46% at 4K. In addition, this new game ready driver offers support for the latest new titles and updates, including the launch of the Crisis Remastered Trilogy and Baldur's Gate 3, which utilize NVIDIA DLSS, as well as DLSS updates to Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Chivalry 2. Additionally, this release provides optimal support for the Riftbreaker and Sword and Fairy 7. Although Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is not mentioned, I do believe these driver updates do fix bugs and contribute to preventing newer graphical problems from happening. As we will anticipate some update 6, it's really convenient that this driver has been released so close to the 19th of October, since it will hopefully be another factor contributing to the performance in VR after the update. Once I've had some time after update 6 lands next week, I'll be posting my best NVIDIA settings on this most recent driver too, to try and dial in the best possible performance in VR. Do check out my video about the latest OpenXR runtime as well as my latest Quest 2 settings guide and demo. As always guys, please like and subscribe if you find this content useful. I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.